Good morning. So here's the one thing that I think entrepreneurs are really, really good at, the most successful ones, and that is being good at doing experiments. And I'm not talking about some short experiment, you know, where you try something, you give it a day or two, and if it doesn't work, you don't do it again. I mean those really long experiments that could take, oh, I don't know, a year or more, <laughs> that you learn from and you see what works and what doesn't work. So I'll give you a couple of examples from my business. One of the things that we did for a year, Janice and I, my executive assistant, is we submitted conference proposals off of the call for speakers sheets. Now, I had been doing it for more than a year. Janet started, she helped me for about a year. And we were in one of our planning sessions and she just looked at me and said, this is just not working. And it, and it wasn't. I mean, we got a couple of gigs. Um, they were like, like 1%, I'll say. But if you submit 200 submissions to the call for speakers and you get one, two, maybe three of them, I'm pretty sure there's a better way to spend your time. So we shifted our focus. We still do that sometimes, uh, but only when there's a conference we're really super interested in or it, we know someone there or it just really tightly aligns with our brand. So for the most part, we get referrals for speaking engagements and we are building relationships. Uh, and it's a much more satisfying way to book an engagement and work with people anyway, but really the relationship side and the referral side is what we're finding a lot of success in. Another thing that I'm doing that is an experiment, but I am going to keep doing it, uh, even it if it takes a little while to catch on, is in my master class, I do a Q&A every Friday morning. I'm doing one in about an hour. And that one is important to me because it's my way to interact live with my students and just see what questions they have because I really want them to achieve a transformation as they're working toward their career goals. Now you might say, why, why is that an experiment? Well, because nobody's showing up to the calls. I mean, well, okay, Yolanda shows up. So thank you, Yolanda. She's my friend and she's in the master class and she shows up most days to the calls and if not, so far, I haven't had anybody show up. That doesn't mean it's the wrong thing to do. I need to experiment with how I let them know that it's available. Um, and sometimes you have to just keep showing up until an idea catches on. A couple of my favorite quotes when it comes to being an entrepreneur are, the first one is, successful people hold on when everybody else has let go. And if you think about that, I think that's really true. I mean, they. They keep trying new things. They just keep going one foot in front of the other. I had a, a couple of days, not this week, but last week where I was really struggling with my business. And I, I shared a little bit about that in the videos. And I just thought, okay, today is the day that success is moving forward, taking the small steps. I wrote out what I needed to do, checked them off the list. It didn't feel terribly energizing because it just felt like, oh my gosh, you know, I don't even know if these are the right things to do. But again, experimenting and keep moving forward and eventually you'll get to that place where you're back on a glide path and then, you know, I'm afraid to tell you, yes, it happens all over again. The other quote that I love is, don't compare your chapter three to someone else's chapter 20. There's always gonna be somebody who's doing what you wanna do and they are farther down that journey. They're more successful. They're, they've got exactly the audience that you want or you think they do. Um, and there's also going to be new people who haven't even started yet or who are earlier in the journey who look at you and they're thinking, oh my gosh, I wanna do what she's doing. So don't compare your chapter three to someone else's chapter 20. Just keep going, keep experimenting, and you'll find that, that perfect place for you and that spot that you can carve out that you can call your own. So that's my thoughts for the day. Keep experimenting. Think about those long experiments because they're not all super short ones. And uh, yeah, keep creating products and services and asking your audience what they want, what they need, and you will build a successful business. Have a great day.